Paul said in Romans 12, be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Which world did he mean? Because the Bible talks about three different worlds. Example number one, the world of nature. That's the first thing we think about when we think about the world. That's in Psalm 24, verse one and two. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. Or you think about uh, Psalm eight, verse three. When I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have created, he said, what is man? You are mindful of him. or oh, the son of man, you have visited him. So that's the first world that we, we think about. But then there's a second world that the Bible talks about, and that's the world of humanity. For God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he sent his only begotten son. So that's the second world. Now, when Romans 12, 2 says, be not conformed to this world, it's not talking about the planet. Like Psalm 24, verse 1, the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. It's not even talking about the world of men, humanity, for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. It's talking about 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, because it, it, there is here the third uh, meaning of what does the world mean when it comes to the Bible. So when we say the world, when the Bible speaks of do not be conformed to this world, it means the world of evil. Now, in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, it says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Do you also remember that where, where the Lord called Satan the prince of this world? So we're talking now about the third world that the Bible talks about, which is the system. Uh, the world order would be maybe a better way to say it. So the world order is the system that controls the thinking and behavior of mankind. So you have the first world, Psalm 24, 1, the earth is the Lord's fullness thereof. That's a good one. And you have the second world the Bible talks about, for God so loved the world, meaning humanity. He gave his begotten son. We're a part of humanity. But now there's a third world, which is satanic. Satan is the prince of this world, third world. So what is he prince over? He's prince over the world order. He's, he's, he's not the, the god of the planet because the earth is the Lord's. The earth belongs to God. The fullness thereof belongs to our heavenly Father. So that cannot mean that Satan is the, is the God of this planet. He's the God of the world order, the world order. So th that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So Satan is the mastermind uh, behind the world order. That's why Paul calls him in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, he's the God of this world. So this is the world we are commanded not to be a part of. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. And yes, I'm talking about how to be transformed into the image of Jesus and not be conformed to the world order world order. So in 1 John 2, 15, love not the world. Now which world then is this talking about? The world order. Love not the world, because we are to love, you know, think about uh, the beauty in this earth. This is our heavenly Father's world. This is his planet. The earth is the Lord's. Now, we are to love humanity. For God loved the world, and we are to love also humanity. 
But this portion of the Bible in 1 John 2, uh, uh, 1 John 2, 15 says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So it's very clear then that he's not talking about Psalm 24, 1. He's not talking about John 3, 16. He's talking about the world order, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. That Satan has a world on this planet called the system of the world, the world order that controls the, the, the thinking, the thinking of humanity, controls the behavior of humanity. So we are not to love what? The thinking of the world. The behavior of the world. That's what the Bible means by love not the world. So the Lord Jesus said in John 15, you remember we just read it earlier, the world will hate you. Well, again, it's he's talking about the world that Satan controls. The world will hate you. That world of the devil will hate you. That world order will hate you. The thinking of the world, the behavior of the world. And that's important. So he said, I have chosen you out of the world. I have chosen you out of what? The system. I have chosen you out of the world order. I have chosen you out of the world's thinking. I have chosen you out of the world's behavior. I did not choose you to come out of the earth or come out of humanity. I chose you to come out of the world system, the way they are ruled by this mastermind called Satan the devil. So, now, and I'm glad I explained that to you. Maybe some of you never heard, uh, heard that or maybe thought about it. But that's what the Bible means when it says the world be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. 